Hey guys, welcome back to another Assassin's Creed video. Still on the same recording session with no voice audio. However, this is the last one. I have voiced over the uh, video instead of just leaving it how it is. But once again, guys, I am really sorry. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you do not miss any future videos where I do actually speak. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the video. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here. ...and this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe. The village of ravens. Hmm. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day, this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that, our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Well, instead of speaking to Gunnar, I went and decided to go synchronize within the nearby area. Kind of just want to get a lay of the land, and, but by God, this game is absolutely beautiful. Like, Norway really did not do this game justice at the beginning, Like, but looking at it now, holy Jesus, it really just looks amazing. <laughs> Thankfully, most of the stuff that I kind of did during this... um. <clears throat> During this recording session was all kind of like the free play stuff. Like I went and did a lot of synchronizing and oh, look at that! Well, it just looks amazing. A lot of synchronizing, looking at the nearby wealth and stuff, and seeing what's what's really close by. But I needed to do it, so let's go talk to Gunnar and let's go see what he needs for this blacksmith forge. I like how it shows you kind of like what you need and like what you're missing and what you have and stuff. I needed supplies oh. to build Gunner's Forge. I should gather the crew and go raiding. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shill splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Hmm. Oh, it's no bother. Better Aww. afford axes than swing them. My place Sad is gunner. here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. Aww. Though you do remind me. I found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. We lack the needed supplies to build up. Right then, so my plan right now is to go and... Do you see these red kind of axe locations? Those are places that we can raid. But, as you can see, though it says suggested power is a lot higher than what I am. But this one over here is alright. So, my plan is to go there, get some raiding done, and let's build this. Let's build Gunnar's Forge. The game tries to tell you to kind of, like, go in by uh, longboat and, like, well, press... I think you press R when you get close to something and then everyone just, like, piles on. But I kind of wanted to approach it a different way. I kind of wanted to get, like, be like a scout kind of thing, get close, have a look around before, uh... 
before alerting the enemies to my presence, so to say, and see what I can do without calling everyone else. So as I got closer, I kind of started to uh, use Odin's vision a lot to see enemies through walls and stuff, and start to see all the kind of wealth that's nearby. The little barrels on the compass at the top are the kind of raw materials that we need. So yeah, as you can, and supplies for the uh, base. So I'm just kind of trying to kind of like sneak around, find any enemies that are out on their own. Oh. Luckily, this guy doesn't surprise me that much. That was my chain assassination skill then. That's why it was telling me to assassinate that other guy. But yeah, we're getting pretty lucky with these guys coming into our line of uh, our little... Our little bladed wheat area. I kind of like, at the time I thought, right, taking out one by one's going to be useful because by the time we actually come to raid it, there'll be no one here and we can just come in and take all the stuff and go. I th I'm pretty, well, I know the enemies for a fact, the enemies respawn, so this kind of was all for nothing, really, I guess. Coming close and seeing where everything is, though, like getting close to all the um, supplies and finding out where they are was definitely a good idea because then I literally know straight where to go and know how to get into the buildings and I know what to do. Show me. But yeah, I quickly came to realize that you kind of, you need to go loud, so... <laughs> Calling my men, everyone gets a bit confused. The raven this day. And it's time to start raiding. <laughs> oh, and I started getting Steam messages, that's me by the way, I apologize for that. I don't know where my people are. I got quite annoyed and confused at first because I was like, I keep seeing. Sorry about that. It feels like. Oh, gee, I was about to say, it feels like the combat starts to like. The more you do it, the more like smooth it feels. Like the more kind of used to it you get, I guess. But I say that and then I just got hit by it. I just fell over. I definitely like the heavy attacks. I'm thinking of trying out some new kind of like weapon combinations. I've just stuck with the axe and the uh, and the uh, shield for now, but I'm definitely thinking about trying out some new ones. Anyway, let's skip ahead a little bit. How the raiding works, you come to these kind of like camps and monasteries and stuff and find these big kind of like chests with raw materials, supplies, and different pieces of wealth in them. Really, they just kind of help you to build your settlement quite a lot. You need raw materials and supplies to build the individual kind of buildings that you need for your settlement. So like stables, blacksmith, trading post. So you just kind of barge your way in, kill everyone, and then open up these little chest things. Once you do that, right, let's get back you get your uh, raw materials and supplies, and once you've got them all, your raid is complete. And when we head back to the settlement you will see that we can now afford to build up the blacksmith builds a nice little cool building and honestly i think it just looks like the more buildings you build the nicer your city your little village looks it looks amazing a forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Vornberg. come visit me anytime for weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. A pleasure to see you again, Eivor. Right then, there you go. As you, as you can see, to construct new buildings you need supplies and raw materials. And as the settlement grows, it gains renown. And the higher the level I get, the, the higher the level the settlement gets, the more buildings I can unlock. But yeah, if you go into the Raven's view, you can kind of see all the buildings that are around. So there's the Hidden Ones Bureau. It's a nice little place for Haytham. And he gives you like individual missions and it, it opens up a whole new kind of like kind of worms. We'll, we'll go to that in a little bit. But if you can look, you can look over here and you can see there's tattoo shops. There's like bakeries, there's farms, there's stables. There's honestly all sorts. And to be able to get all of these things, you need to get more supplies and more raw materials so you can build it up completely. I could also afford to build one more building, so I decided to build up the trading post, which a lot of people kind of see. After watching some videos online, a lot of people think it's unnecessary at the beginning, 
and it's better to go for something like the stable or the hidden ones bureau but oh well I, I didn't really have a problem with it i it was the kind of nice place to um be able to sell all my trinkets and buy some like iron ore and leather and stuff and get some nice upgrades so yeah i'm not complaining Hytham also tries Hytham. to talk you into building up the uh, hidden ones bureau what will you do we have work to do starting in the cities of england london jorvik winchester all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones. To liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. I had to have a quick look after this to see what I needed, and yeah, it's just the casual, the, the same old, and I, I, well, I have nothing left. So, I can't, I'm going to have a look around for any more areas to raid. I can do that one. Can't do that one because it's a high suggested power, but I can't, there's two raid areas that I can do. So, I definitely plan on doing them very soon. Let's go speak to Sigurd and see what he wants. Hey, boy, in here. What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. Oh, what a nice guy. So in the room, there's just little uh, things. This little note here tells me what I can do in the city and what it uh, recommends me to do later on when I have more renown, when my uh, little settlement is a higher level. But yeah, it tells me everything that I can do in terms of like what I can build, and then, well, Ran V signs it nicely at the bottom. Hmm. Over here is a letterbox. A letterbox for messages and requests. There you go. That's what it is. <laughs> and there's the bed. And that's literally it. A bed better than many I've slept in. And a good place to recover. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes. And I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. That's pretty rude, isn't it? Anyway. Let's level up. So after that, instead of going on with the story... Uh... 
I decided to do another raid. Uh, I went around and synchronized a couple of areas and then decided to go and do a raid so that I could get some uh, some more supplies and raw materials so I could build up my settlement a bit more. After some nice successful raids, I decided to come back to Ravensthorpe to build up my settlement a little bit. I did specifically kind of go out on the raid so I could get the Hidden Ones Bureau. So here we are getting it. And we'll see what it looks like once Haytham has his nice little uh, cottage, so to say. His nice little, nice little area to do all his work. And there he is out the front. And as you can see, we have leveled up our little, our little village. It's now a colony. And right, now it has increased to two. And as you can see, we can get some new different things like the shipyard, tattoo shop, hunter's hut and more. So hopefully, I'll be able to get that at some point. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranry about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. For those of you that don't know, currently know what's going on, Hytham has led us to show us the leap of faith. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. <laughs> I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait, and watch. Hytham! Yikes. My turn. Hytham! Pig-headed fool. <laughs> Pig-headed fool. Right then. Yeah! A perfect fall. We can now do the leap of faith. You spoke true. It was madness and vigor, a purging of fear, a gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. Basim has given me one task here to locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hatham, for all of this. Right then, I honestly didn't really listen. <laughs> and I, didn't, I did read it through and I did look through. So basically, we've got a lot of people we need to kill. There's a big hierarchy of people we need to hunt down and find, and they're all on different levels. And they're all, some of them are a lot easier to kill than others. As you can see around the edges as well, there's little circles. Those are the zealots. Uh, I currently haven't seen any here. But later on, like where I'm actually up to in the game as I'm recording, as I'm voicing over right now, I have seen them. And they are really hard. I haven't tried to come up against any of the individual people yet. Uh, we've killed Kyotve, that's the one on the very right. Uh, we have to find, to find the different people. As you can see right now, you can get clues by exploring England, forging alliances, and different random things. Uh, I have found another one since then. I will show you him at some point, I'm sure. They'll be glad to know that this is the last little bit of the uh, no voice playthrough recording session. I'm just going to speak to Ranvi and then that's that. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances. I am clad with every Norse, Dane and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings. And I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. 
join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. And what's more, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with contacts of his own in the cities. I added his information to the map if you would like to know what he has discovered. I want to see the Alliance map. If you want your settlement to thrive in England, your clan must forge alliances. Pledge to a territory to confirm your interest in an alliance. As pledges are completed and allies are made, other territories, other territories will be made available. So, as you can see, we, can, we have a choice of three right now. And the rewards we get for some of them are like supplies. And I'm guessing the rewards for others like that though, you can see, I think it's like a level up of the settlement maybe? I'm not too sure. Uh, I think, well, I, I did decide to go with this one here, Leder, Leder, just, just, uh, yeah, I did decide Tell to go with that one. Tell me more about Leder Chestershire. Leder Chestershire. should like to join Sigurd soon. He travelled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavour. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Jarden Bloodtooth. A circus so with then. foes, but powerful Thank allies. you all very much for watching. This is the end of my... I should seek him out. No voice kind of um, recording session. So on the next set of videos, I'll be talking as the videos go on rather than as a voiceover. Oh, thank God. Hey guys, thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate the fact that you watched this regardless of the problems that I had with the recording of it. I hope you still enjoyed the video. If you did, there are many more on the way, so be sure to subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Ciao.